Hello, I'm Baraka the Pirate, and welcome to my Let's Play of There is a Man in the Attic. Uh, yeah, I haven't played horror games in a while, so <laughs> I'm pretty easy to scare. So I figured the only way I'm going to be able to play them again is to actually stream it. So I did. I should do a re Let's Play of it, so I feel like I get something out of it. So, yeah, well, I hope you enjoy watching me. When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at that time, and when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, Somebody's here. There is a man here. He is here. It freaked my brother out in the middle of the night a couple of times. I'm an adult now, and that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. Why is he moving slightly up? Oh, it's my joystick. Okay. Jeez, he moves slow. Find phone. Wouldn't it be in his room? Apparently not. Ain't no phone here. Alright. Drop does he need to move so slowly? Oh, there we go. Is this phone? Check phone. Hey brother, I just want to let you know that we arrived at home safely. Thank you for the invitation, we had a great time. It was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologize to Lily's behavior, but you know how kids are in their imagination. She was probably very tired as well. See you later, take care. Lily's behavior. Hmm. I should clean up first. Oh, seems pretty barren in this place. Clean up dining room table. Wow, these plates. Today my brother came to visit and he brought his family along. His wife and their 17 years old daughter. Her name is Lily and technically she's my niece. It's been a while since I last seen them so we spent half an hour catching up with each other just talking. After a while I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her. After all, adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. I'm a pretty good uncle, so I offered to let her watch TV in the upstairs room, showed her, showed her all the cartoon channels and let her there to watch some TV, away from the boring adults. She was grateful. Okay, where do I put him? Yes, in the kitchen. dishes. Night went on. Seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs to let <coughs> upstairs <laughs> to let Lily to eat with us. And that's when all of a sudden Lily went upstairs, downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple of minutes before she could speak. Then she finally said this. There was a man upstairs staring at me from the doorway. Confused, perhaps a little frightened, we all went upstairs, searched everything. Oh, what do you want, Windows? Check the attics as well, only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother dismissed Lily's story, claimed she was probably just getting tired, and soon after, they left for the night. I'm once again completely alone in the house, and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. To way too slowly. Time to get some sleep. Go to bed. Didn't you 
use the bathroom now. Can I go up the top? I'm betting that's where the man is. Attic. No reason to go in there. What in Willie's story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from this doorway. Before returning to the attic, just like in my dreams. What's that? These noises are coming from the attic. You better check. The man. The man from the attic. <laughs> they remember leaving this door open. Oh shit. Shit's going down. Jump scare. <laughs> no! <laughs> Search the attic. Jump scare. This is stupid, there's nothing up here. We could get sound designed. Go back to bed. Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake, then you anxiously search for the cause. You won't find anything when you question it once more. Okay. Is the man in the attic real? What's he moving forward for? Attic real. I don't know. Probably is. It'd be kind of boring horror game if he wasn't real. Eyes. It's just a cat. Fear is subjective. It's not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic or the man in the basement. Perhaps a man under your bed. Ooh. Thank you for playing my Pacific Sphere. The man in the attic. Wait, is that it? What the hell? Hurry up. Hurry up. That's a very short game. Well, I guess that's it.
All right. Oops. Guess that's it. Yeah, what did I think about that game? Um, it's kind of short. <laughs> uh, I thought there'd be more to it. It's kind of weird how it just froze at the end there. Uh, yeah, it was it was good how there wasn't a jump scare though. I guess it's nice to <laughs> not get the shit scared out of me. <laughs> My first let's play of a horror game for my channel, so, uh, yeah, it was okay, for what it was, I guess a short game's a good game, oh, I'll see you guys later.